Hi, and welcome to my new video. Top 5 Countries for Unvax Travelers If you are new to my channel please skip back to the previous video, Unvax Travel, for the list of countries now accepting the unvaccinated traveler. Link at the top of the screen. In this video I have picked out 5 potential destinations I plan to visit for adventures in the coming months. So, before we get into this video, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. And I promise you that you will never miss out on a video again. Hit the bell icon so you get the notifications, and let's go on this journey together. The rule change. changes are welcomed by millions of travelers from around the world, who have chosen not to get vaccinated. Under previous rules, unjab travelers needed to take two tests, one before departure and one upon arrival. Nevertheless, travel options remain fairly limited for the pure-blooded cohort. Among the major travel destinations still banning them entirely are France, Spain, the US, Morocco, Thailand and Australia. Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium and Sweden are also blocking entry, indeed, much of Europe remains off-limits. There is one exception. One of my home nations, the Queen's England, now open to the unvaxxed from all over the world, once again showing the world how freedom is paramount. There is still a significant, and expanding, list of options. Here are some of my interested adventure options that are still welcoming unvaccinated adventurers. This video will be updated regularly, when the information is available, so, to make sure you don't miss out. I invite you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon, and I promise you will never miss out again. These countries are following in England's footsteps, with no travel restrictions of any kind. Just don't forget your passport and your speedos. First off, in this illustrious list is my now chosen next destination for travels, that is the land of fire and ice. Number 1 is Iceland. I was planning on traveling to this Nordic island just before the pandemic hit. And luckily didn't book anything before the world shut down and went into destructive lockdown. Now that we are back loose and uncaged. It's time to strap in and get naughty on adventures yet to come. I am personally itching to get going again. My passport expired in mid-lockdown 2020 and I am now waiting for my new blue British passport, free of all constraints and excited for the good times to come. Iceland is a popular destination for all Western tourists, especially in the summer months. This will be my first time in Iceland and better still, the iconic island nation has removed all entry requirements on February 25, 2022. In addition, Iceland has scrapped most of its internal restrictions. The government has invited the world's citizens to come and bring the virus with them, as they are pushing for herd immunity as the vaccines are not up to the job. I applaud him at their common sense grown up attitude towards the virus and look forward to my up and coming Icelandic adventure. Iceland, a Nordic island nation, is defined by its dramatic landscape with volcanoes, geysers, hot springs and lava fields. Massive glaciers are protected in Vatnajökull and Snæfellsjökull national parks. Most of the population lives in the capital, Reykjavik which runs on geothermal power and is home to the National and Saga Museums, tracing Iceland's Viking history. The nightlife in the capital city Reykjavik is also well known as top-notch and off the highest caliber, and the beautiful Nordic lovelies are enticing for any intrepid traveler. I am extremely eager to suit up for some fire and ice. Number 2 is Turkey. Before deciding on Iceland, 
I did consider Turkey, just for some cheap sun and fun but as you're about to hear, Turkey is still not as straightforward to enter as some of the other entries on this list. All arrivals into Turkey aged 6 and over, including Turkish citizens and residence permit holders, must complete an online form, form for entry to Turkey, a maximum of 72 hours prior to travel. If you're not fully vaccinated, you'll need to show proof of a negative PCR test, taken no more than 72 hours before entry, rapid antigen test, taken no more than 48 hours before entry, or proof of a recent recovery, within the last six months. For children aged 11 and under, no test is needed. Note that face masks are no longer required outdoors or indoors if air circulation and social distancing are adequate. Turkey, officially the Republic of Turkey, is a transcontinental country located mainly on Anatolia in Western Asia, with a portion on the Balkans in Southeast Europe. I think I will wait before trying Turkey, and see if they open up fully and ditch the entry requirements. Number 3 is Jordan. Jordan is a fabulous destination for travelers. The eclectic mixture of stunning desert and ancient temples, including Petra, which is one of the seven new wonders of the world, makes it a great destination. Jordan also ended all entry requirements on March 1, 2022. Jordan, an Arab nation on the east bank of the Jordan River, is defined by ancient monuments, nature reserves and seaside resorts. It's home to the famed archaeological site of Petra, the Nabataean capital dating to around 300 BC. Set in a narrow valley with tombs, temples and monuments carved into the surrounding pink sandstone cliffs. Petra earns its nickname, the Rose City. This place is definitely on my post-plandemic travel list. I may group it with a trip to the Holy Land, Israel, and see both countries at the same time. Possibly my next trip after Iceland, depending on the entry requirements during summer 2022. Number 3 El Salvador. El Salvador became the first nation to accept Bitcoin as legal tender. It also became the first nation worldwide to scrap all entry requirements on November 15, 2021. People refer to El Salvador as that land of volcanoes for its incredible volcanic scenery, but now, Bitcoin Nation might start to become a more popular nickname. El Salvador, officially the Republic of El Salvador, is a country in Central America. It is bordered on the northeast by Honduras, on the northwest by Guatemala, and on the south by the Pacific Ocean with beautiful beaches and lovely Latinas to boot. El Salvador's capital and largest city is San Salvador really good for entertainment, in fact it is the region's best place for entertainment. It has many new and old bars, restaurants, nightclubs theaters, malls, cinemas and the only lifestyle center in the region that is one of the best places to go out at night it has all types of restaurants. It is Central America's city of entertainment and of course it boasts the best malls in the region. A great place if you want to party the night away. I think a city and country ripe for the post-virus picking, may be third in line for the rampage that is to come. Number 4 is Norway. If you fancy a Norwegian nature experience, now's the best time to visit because there are no entry requirements. As of February 12, 2022, Norway ended all entry measures. As a result, it's a fantastic place to visit if you're a hiking enthusiast as well as nightlife and sightseeing. It doesn't matter if you're not fully vaccinated. Entry requirements for Norway are the same for all travelers, regardless of vaccination status. Entry requirements for Norway are the same for all travelers, regardless of whether you have tested positive for the virus in the past year or not. Norway is a Scandinavian country encompassing mountains, glaciers and deep coastal fjords. Oslo, the capital, is a city of green spaces and museums. 
preserved 9th century Viking ships are displayed at Oslo's Viking Ship Museum. Bergen, with colorful wooden houses, is the starting point for cruises to the dramatic Sognefjord. Norway is also known for fishing, hiking and skiing, notably at Lillehammer's Olympic Resort. In conclusion, Oslo has a great nightlife scene but getting around town can be quite expensive, that's why I recommend you purchase the official Oslo Pass for just $50 USD which will save you a ton of money on attractions and transportation. Beer prices are also on the expensive side, just like the rest of the Scandinavian countries. So, make sure you take out plenty of money with you. I think it makes a good addition to my list with its awesome non-entry requirements, and definitely deserves a visit at some point in the near future. Bonus countries. Thailand and Cambodia. These are the two that I am eager to visit once the restrictions for the unvaxxed are terminated. At the moment both countries seem shit scared to open up and fully embrace herd immunity with this mild variant. And such, both countries will miss out on full on tourist revenue, and both economies will continue to suffer. I watch with eager anticipation on both of these countries. Hopefully soon they will give their heads a wobble and wake up to the reality of the situation. Be sure to check out the last video on my channel about Thailand's timeline to open up the country to mass tourism. Link will be in the description of this video. If you found this video informative, and you feel you got something from it, please give it a like, or comment below with your thoughts and information on what I have discussed. Also, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I promise you that you will not miss out again. Until the next time.